This video is not made for kids. It is for older fans and adults only. So fuck off and enjoy the video. Rosie was enjoying her life on the Farquhar branch. Each morning she would collect stone trucks from the quarry. Then she and Percy would chunk trucks and arrange trains at the junction. And when Thomas or Toby were busy elsewhere, she would sometimes take passengers. <sighs> it's been so amazing working here. I don't know how I managed being cooped up in that crowded goods yard before the fat controller sent me here. It's great that I can now stretch my wheels. I felt exactly the same way. Before I was given this branch line, the only exercise I got was going from one end of the station yard to another. Good evening, engines. I've just received an email from Mr. Hart. We have some new drivers ready for hands-on training, and he is assigning one of them here for the next week. Any volunteers to take them on? Thomas, Percy and Toby winced at each other. I will, sir! I'd be happy to help a new driver learn the ropes. Splendid, Rosie. I knew I could count on you. You do know what you're getting yourself into, don't you, Rosie? Trainee drivers are horrid to work with. Full of themselves and the short attention spans. <laughs> I'm sure they're not all that bad. Rosie, this is Larry. He is the trainee driver assigned to the branch line. Good morning, Larry. Welcome to the Fair Queer branch line. Come aboard. Rosie's fireman showed Larry the cab controls and how they were operated, but Larry was much too eager to get down to work. He barely listened to the fireman. Yes, yes, yes. I know about it, fireman. Let's get to it. That morning, things did not go smoothly. First, Larry left it too late to apply Rosie's brakes and she bumped the trucks hard. It's not my fault! One incident followed another, but Rosie just gritted her teeth. She did not want to admit defeat to Thomas and Percy. So, Rosie, how's it going with your trainee driver? Almost derailing trucks, leaving before they are coupled, going backward instead of forwards. He's picking it up quick for a new boy. <laughs> oh, shut up! It was only his first day. Well, it's lucky for you that it has been around the yard. Godfrey knows what would happen out on the open line. Secretly, Rosie was beginning to understand why the Avengers didn't like training drivers, but she wasn't going to admit defeat just yet. The next morning, things had gone much easier than the day before. First day jitters. That's all it was. Today will be much better. But it wouldn't last long. That afternoon, Rosie was to collect some stone trucks from the quarry. Larry was excited about having a chance to drive on the open line, but Rosie was nervous. The journey up to the quarry went without a hitch, but the return trip would be a different story. We are running behind schedule, so we don't have time to turn you around, Rosie. We'll have to take the train backwards. Rosie nervously pulled the trucks out of the quarry. Up ahead was a signal set to danger, but unfortunately, the trainee driver was so full of himself, he had misread it. Then, it happened. Ouch! Thomas soon arrived with the workmen to lift Rosie back onto the rails. This is the last straw, Mr. Johnson. You are only a driver in training, and you are expected to follow instructions. All this week, we've barely heard anything positive about your performance, and now you stupidly misread a signal and derailed your engine. I'm sorry, sir. I... I'm in no mood to hear it, Larry. Mr. Hat has given orders that you shall be demoted to engine cleaner. And after such time as we feel you are ready, you are to undergo training all over again. 
A few days later, Rosie returned to work with her regular driver. She now understands why Thomas, Percy and Toby are wary of trainee drivers, and hopes she wouldn't have to go through another experience like that anytime soon.